One of the few artillery systems on display at IDEX this year is this China North Industries Corporation, Norinco, AR3 multiple artillery rocket system. As you can see, it's mounted on an 8x8 wheeled chassis, which gives a very high cross-country mobility. The central tyre inflation system allows the driver to adjust the tyre pressure to suit the train. Fully air-conditioned cab, and mounted on the rear is a rocket launcher. This can actually be fitted with either pods of 300 mm or 370 mm rockets. In addition to unguided rockets, it can also fire guided rockets to provide a more precision effect. Generally, ro multiple rocket launchers are area suppression systems, but there is a clear trend in many countries to deploy weapons with a more precise effect. This has two significant advantages. One, less munitions are required to neutralize the target. And two, logistics. You don't have to bring so many rockets forward. This particular system can fire 300 millimeter or 370 millimeter rockets with various types of warheads. Some, for example, are high explosive fragmentation and some other ones are, are cargo. It is normally deployed in, bat in batteries of six, with perhaps three batteries making up a regiment or battalion. It is normally coupled to a complete computerized fire control system so it can carry out scoot and shoot operations. A key feature of this system is that it carries pods of rockets. So once the rocket's been launched, the vehicle would normally deploy, the old pods would be taken off and new pods fitted. The pods, as we said, can be fitted with unguided rockets or more, more effectively, these guided rockets. You see in the background the 370 mm guided rocket and in front of it the 300 mm guided rocket. These are fitted with an inertial navigation system, a GPS, to give a very high level of accuracy, typically around 30 meters. These rockets enable the system to engage targets from perhaps 20 kilometers out to about 280 kilometers. So that gives a very good target effect. As you can see, you can see the control services on the front and the fins that fold out at the back. And these have a solid propeller rocket motor and can be fitted to various warheads depending on what type of target you're engaging. 